Hi, I'm Vikram and welcome to A Roll of Film. Well, it's been some time since I've uh, done a camera review and that's primarily because uh, I haven't really added to my collection in the past, uh, past year or so. But however, in the past two months, uh, I have got uh, rather lucky and I have managed to get my hands on three cameras. That's right, three cameras, two of which happen to be Nikons, 35mm, the F2 and the F4 and the third being a medium format camera, the one that I'm going to review today, the Agfa Record uh, 2. Now, uh, this is a 35mm folding camera uh, manufactured uh, between 1951 and 1956 uh, by Agfa company in Munich, Germany. It came in three models or three variants, the Agfa 1, the Agfa Record 1, the 2 and the Record 3. What I have here is the Agfa Record 2. The Agfa Record 3 of course was the most sophisticated of the lot, but uh, this one falls somewhere nicely in between. As you can see, it is a folding camera, a medium format folding camera that gives a 6x9 negative, it takes 120 film and you get about uh, 8 frames per row. So let's have a closer look at this camera, let's start from the bottom. You have here uh, the, uh, the groove for attaching your tripod and it's a nice uh, compact rectangular body all made of steel, no plastic parts here. It's got this nice black sort of fox leather kind of a feel about it. Uh, at the back, you have this a small uh, red glass with a op window that opens. Uh, this is your frame counter and uh, this opening and closing of this window ensures that uh, there's no inadvertent uh, light leaks. So your film is well protected. On the side here, you have this small lever which uh, opens the back of your camera and of course you have the viewfinder. Now on the top, here you have uh, uh, two dials and uh, two triggers. So this is your film rewind, your film advance lever. You have to, uh, you have to turn it around like this. And out here you have a very handy uh, depth of field scale. So this allows you to, uh, this it tells you your depth of field depending upon which aperture you happen to choose in your focusing distance. Very, very handy piece of uh, equipment here. Uh, really innovative for these times. And of course here you have your, uh, your horseshoe for the flash. This is a cold, cold shoe. Uh, and now coming to the two levers here. Here you have the, this is your shutter release lever and you have the lever here to open uh, the camera. Now the interesting part about this, uh, the shutter release is that here there is a small uh, pinhole kind of thing with a red mark. So this red mark indicates that the shutter is locked. Now this is done uh, to avoid any uh, double exposures by mistake. So how do you release the shutter? Is you just uh, move the advance lever in front till you hear that clicking noise. When the noise clicks, you look, the red mark is gone and your shutter is ready to use. So now we'll just open this camera. There it is, folding camera opens out very nicely. And like in all folding cameras, all the mechanical parts are in front. So here we have an uh, Ag Agfa Agnar lens. It's a 4.5 105mm lens. Uh, 105 mm on a 6x9 works out to approximately 45 mm on a 35 mm or uh, full frame for uh, digital users. It has a, as I said, it's a 4.5, which uh, is pretty fast actually for a full frame camera, 4.5. And uh, it goes all the way up to 32. And here's the the scale for the for adjusting the knob to adjust your aperture just on this side. Uh, this, this lens is extremely good, an excellent lens, uh, supposed to uh, achieve extremely crisp focus or extremely sharp uh, in the today's uh, parlance. Uh, in minimum focusing distance of three feet, everything is in feet here, and uh, this is a mechanical camera. There is no autofocus, nothing, so you have to uh, move 
you have to move the lens, there's a ring here, it rotates the ring. You have a scale in feet and you uh, estimate the distance to your subject and accordingly use uh, your judgment and get it to the correct the indicator here. So you get here say it's 13 feet, F32, uh, then you look at your, your scale here. Put it at that at that point. 32, 16. So everything from say seven feet to infinity is within your depth of field. Pretty good, if you ask me. You have pronto shutter uh, and it has shutter speeds. It has a bulb, 25, 50, 100, and 200. 200 is the maximum shutter speed, uh, which is pretty good for those times. And uh, the shutter has to be cocked. You can't just shoot, fire the shutter. So you use this lever here, cock the shutter, and there you go. It's pressed. It also has here a, a, a socket for you to add, attach your, uh, the flash sync cable, and it has a self timer, which you can use. Uh, so pretty simple, uh, nothing much to it. That's about all. So there's nothing really much I can say. Apart, apart from the fact that it's supposed to be a really excellent lens, and yeah, of course, uh, if you want to, sh when you shut the to shut the camera, you just press down on these two things, and there it goes. So just slip it into your jacket pocket, and you're ready to go. Now I'm really excited about this camera, and I haven't really used it as yet. Uh, I just got my hands on a, a roll of film. Unfortunately, uh, the weather has been pretty horrible the past couple of weeks. We've been having the unseasonal rains and it's been extremely over, uh, overcast. I haven't really had an opportunity to go and shoot. In fact, I still have uh, four frames uh, loaded up in the Yashika mat, which I need to, need to take. But uh, we're hoping that the weather clears another week or so and I'll be able to go out and shoot. But, uh, but not to worry, I still have a lot of videos in the pipeline. Uh, uh, of course, apart, we have the, uh, the reviews coming up for the F2 and the F4 the camera that I mentioned before. Apart from that, uh, I have a few rolls of film which I exposed with the Yashika mat, both in Humpy and in uh, Bangalore street scenes. So those are the videos that will be coming up. So stay tuned. And uh, oh yeah, and if you like the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Thank you.